Howdy all! How's everybody doing today? I'm the Cowboy from the Cosmos, here to bring you another Risk video. So today, we have ourselves the Round 6, aka the semi-finals, of the official Risk Discord Q2 2021 free-for-all tournament. Today we're going to be going on some settings that I really like, except for one particular thing, which does kind of suck, and that is that the dice are true random. But otherwise, it is Progressive Fog on Moscow Advanced, World Dom, Auto Placement. 60 second turn timer, as standard. I think it should be a lot of fun. Obviously, being the semifinals, this is the point of kind of no return, as in there is no easy enemies here. Um, every single player is playing to win. I just need to hit top 3 to reach the finals today. Points no longer matter in the tournament, so from here on out, it does not matter who I kill, what I do, I just need to hit third place. If I hit third, second, or first, I go on to the finals, and then I'm actually playing to win there. So I don't think I'm going to be playing for a W on the semifinals. I think if I can skirt by into the finals, that will be good enough for me. We have ourselves a full game. And it is starting up. Alright. This should be a tense one. Um, obviously everyone here is incredibly skilled at free-for-all risk. That is kind of how we have all gotten as far as we have. So, best of luck to myself and everybody here. Since it's true random, this pretty much is luck. <laughs> oh boy, and we go first. So we have been gifted round one or turn one continent. That is very good, and I will absolutely take that. Give me that shit. Hell yeah. Alright. That is actually an incredibly good start. We have a continent, and the only continent anybody's going to hold on this map anyway. So, I am very lucky to have that given to me. Unfortunately, I lost like two troops making my attack, which always sucks, but oh well. So now I need to focus on bringing troops to the, hold all the other positions on the map I got. We'll see what gets attacked of mine. And I think I will figure out what I do from there. Because I have a bunch of twos right now. I'd like to try and keep this two in the bottom right corner-ish. I'm going to try and not move my map around for people who are watching this. So that your viewing experience is a little better. Uh, can I zoom out at all? I can't. Okay. But you'll see on my turn what I try and fortify. I'm going to try and keep myself alive in all sectors of the map. Hopefully that enables me to do well this game. We'll have to see. So Sterling is up next here, coming through mid. Okay, big army. Pio Dannon has a big force. Hopefully he doesn't come to take this continent. But considering it's Prague, I don't think anyone will. So me owning this continent is very good for me because it means I have a lot of leeway with what I can do. Making more troops per turn is quite nice. Also, holy fucking god, the amount of disc or Discord notice I'm getting. Oh, Sir Tyler, no! No, 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 go away, go away, go away, go away. No, 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 don't fuck me, dude. Yeah, no, 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 I'm standing my ground here, buddy. No fucking way, dog. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. That is not happening right now. Okay? <laughs> I am not about to lose this continent after getting it so quickly in this game. That is a big bonus right there. And there's an advantage to having this continent. I can stuff stuff in the back there and nobody can see it. So if I want to make it seem like I'm going to be harder to take than I act... Or if I want to make it seem like that's more easy to take than it is, then someone might punch my guarding stack, and then they'll encounter a bigger stack on the inside, right? And I'll fuck them up. So, that should be good. Hopefully Sir Tyler realizes now, I'm serious. No, I'm going to just keep placing shit there. I make twice as much per turn as you, buddy. This is not happening. <laughs> Like, I don't want to start a war, dude, but 
But I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm not going to give you that consonant, my friend. I'm sorry. It just won't happen. An 11v9 on true random is extremely risky. So unless he wants to throw his entire tournament game, he shouldn't be taking those kind of odds. <laughs> Oh, and he lost one troop to that. How unfortunate. Yeah, that's smart there, bud. Good stuff. Good stuff. You, you <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm glad we sorted out that that may not have been the best idea for you. To try and take that off my hands. Cool. So now I can actually focus more on keeping myself alive, which is good. I also really like this little two I have down in the bottom leftish kind of corner. Not where my 10 is, but like above that by the blue three. I really like that too, because that one there, only blue can see that. So theoretically, if I can go somewhere blue can't see... That's looking good, dude. That's a bit of that's a bit of protection, especially since he has a little bit of troops there. It's kind of like nobody else knows, right? I love that. <laughs> I think the blizzards on Moscow are very interesting, but there's almost always one that makes that bottom uh, continent really worth it. Oh ho ho! So Sterling's trying to hold the continent, huh? Very interesting. Very interesting, man. Well played, and nobody would think that he got away with it, but I can actually stop him. The question is, do I want to? I kind of want to see if me and Sterling can be good neighbors. So I kind of want to see if we can be friends here. The thing is, I don't know if we can. <clears throat> hmm. Definitely something for me to think on here. Do we have a match on three? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't be cashing it in early anyway. <sighs> I'm cold. This basement down here is quite like chili. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, cool. Also, I should probably, like, move my phone off of the table, because I don't know how loud the vibrations are for y'all. And I don't want you guys having your ears, like, destroyed by, like, some bass-boosted vibrations, right? You know what, we'll put like a, a five back there. And that'll be just my little hidden, hidden gem of troops. Five there, four there. I'm trying to use this two for an easy take. Oh, what a shame. Well, we tried anyway. And I know people are probably going to say I shouldn't be doing blitzes, because one of these days it's going to bite me in the ass. And you're probably right, but like... At the same time, I don't like your opinion, so shut up. <laughs> so everyone knows I have this bottom consonant. Everyone's going to realize Sterling has it. And the thing is, is I don't even need to break him, right? Because everyone fucking realizes he has it. There's no way we don't. Oh, the biggest thing I'm worried about right now is people doing dumb attacks. Like, trying to smash a stack of mine of a stack of theirs. Because it's a true random. Theoretically, anything could happen, right? S yeah, Sterling gets 10 troops per turn. Ha <laughs> ha, Sterling! You get him, buddy. <laughs> well played. Yeah. Good shit, dude. That's fucking funny. So now he's not going to get broken either. Because his borders are guarded as hell. Which I think that's a good thing. You know what? I don't mind Sterling being really strong. Because I'm not playing necessarily for that number one right now. I'm kind of okay if I can just take a, a decent match, you know? I don't think I need to win. The other line of thought, though, could be that because he makes so much more, he could be squaring up to kill me. Because he also has me pinned inside of him, so he's the only one who could really do it well, right? That's definitely something I should think on. But it's kind of like, then I have to put everything on that 5 and make an 11. 
just to try and break his five. And if I fail, then I'm basically fucked, right? So it's kind of like, is that really worth it to me to cut out that bonus? That's fucking huge. I don't know. I might have to do it for the sake of the game balance here. Yeah, okay. Go for some manual rolls. There you go. Okay. I had to, dude. I'm sorry. I couldn't let you hold that sterling. That was way too strong. <laughs> that was way too much. Taking out that little island is really good for us. I think that balances the board more. I'm really glad to see that purple five there. Because that um, assures me that sterling can't immediately bite back to kind of um, knock out uh, my nine there. Like if, like, because he could have had like a five or something, right? So now he can't immediately strike back like a cobra. And I'm very glad to know that. <clears throat> I'm curious to see what his turn's play is, though. We shall see. We shall see. So I think what I want to start doing now, more than ever, is putting stuff inside of myself. So that I'm artificially, or I look artificially weaker than I am, right? Because that way people may try to go for a kill, and then once they realize they can't continue it, they won't keep smashing all my other shit. Because they'll realize, oh wait, I can't kill this guy. So then they'll stop, right? Otherwise, they'll break a bunch of my little things, and then they may actually land a kill on me. Or they may realize they can't do it anyway, but by then I've taken so much damage, somebody else can get the kill. So obviously I have to kind of keep all that in mind while playing this. Think about how I can strategize to myself. The biggest thing I cannot do, no matter what, is fortify troops into myself. I have to reinforce them there, but I can't pull them into there. Because if I retreat them, they'll see that, and then they know. So, I need to kind of keep that in mind. I may each turn add two troops, I think, onto the inside of my continent. And then that way, I look a little less powerful, right? I like that. I think that sounds good. My exterior positions are quite weak right now, so I do need to start putting stuff there. So we'll start adding just two. And that way it's just a slow buildup of troops behind my lines that nobody can see. I like that. So we have a match, okay. The fourth match. Um, make that ten. Kickstart this a little bit more. One second, I have some people IRL uh, romping around. My siblings are quite rude. And don't... Uh, have any awareness of other people's existence, it would appear. So, hopefully they're not too loud. I'll mute the mic if they are. And I'll probably just skip to whenever I start talking again. So if we randomly cut, you know why. Alright, so currently, looking at the board, I can't see anyone who's particularly weak. I'm sure Sterling still has his nice little bunker inside of that uh, eight continent. And that's great for him. I'm glad he has that. Because if he's focused down there, that's good for me. I'm assuming he probably also has a position up towards the top right. Knowing Sterling, I don't think he's content just sitting in the bottom half of the map. I think he'd be making his efforts to keep himself in the game a bit longer. But who knows? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he really doesn't care. I think I want to start moving my uh, 8 to more... I want to move it up one at least. Because then I have more sight from it. But also I think moving it up one is just a good idea for having that blizzard be a kind of wall protection thing for me going on. I like that. It sounds like a good idea. We'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Sterling matches in. Each of them are all still doing their matches, and I have a match on three. That's really good. That means I cash in, get more troops. I'm liking how this is going. P.O. Danon holds the center <laughs> continent. Wow. Okay. Well, we need someone to break that, because that is a huge problem. <laughs> Actually, though, is it? Is it a huge problem? Is it? Because Pio doesn't know about my little um, 10 position. 
Maybe it's not as much of a problem as I think. Maybe it's not as much of a problem as I think. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's not such a bad thing that he owns that. Because him being strong isn't necessarily a problem for me. You know what? I'm sure Sterling will put an end to that madness. I don't think Sterling will stand for it. So we'll let Sterling have his fun there. We'll let him do his thing. I'm going to chill. I'm not going to break him. I broke Sterling already. Mm. I don't need to be making more enemies right now. So again, we'll dedicate another two to the pot. Match in. Okay. Um, we'll make this just a nice, just a nice lean 10. I like that. Um, make this a 15, 16, okay. Make that a 16. I'll make that a 6, just so we keep eyes in that position. Take that one there. Take that one there, just so that whatever they have, isn't a big problem. I will move the three into my 18, and I think that'll be my turn. I think Gasper may have had that continent, which is why I took that one. Just in case he had it, now he doesn't. I don't need everybody getting big continents. <laughs> I don't mind if Pio has it, because I think Sterling might break him with that 17. And I also don't mind if other people have it, but I think if everybody has them, then it becomes a problem. So if one other person has it, that's fine. But then I will kind of become the Australia on classic map with balanced borders, where you start out with a really good continent because it's easy to hold, but then everyone else gets the hard continents and you get outmatched pretty quickly. And I don't really want that. This is progressive, so continents don't matter as much. I Obviously, I'm well aware of this. I play a lot of progressive. But I think in the early game, they are very helpful. And on this map, they're all worth so much that I think they are quite powerful. Like, even mine, you can see a plus three bonus isn't, like, fantastic. And a lot of people would say that for progressive, that's not significant. But for a free continent I got, look at all the value I've been getting out of it. Let's see, how many turns have passed? We've had how many? Let's guess here. Take a pot shot at it. Oh, wow. That's fucking big. Is he going for a kill? Is he trying to kill Gasper? I may kind of fish around. I think he is. I might fish around a bit and try and find Gasper. Oh, no. No. Sterling, no. What's he doing? Oh, Sterling, I think you just made this to a four-player game, my good man. I think you just made this a four-player game, dude. <laughs> I think P.O. or somebody's about to roll some shit, dude. <laughs> wow. This is about to go real fucking bad. Yep. Yep, Pio's gonna find him. If Pio doesn't find him, I gotta try, right? The Pio can't find him. Is Tyler gonna get him? If P Tyler doesn't get him, I gotta go for it, right? How has he not been found? How has he not been killed? Or is that it? Did he get him? This is so tense. Did he get him? How has he not got him, dude? <laughs> I'm so confused. What's going on? Did he lag out? Did he get stack deleted or something? Sterling, no, man, I think that was a mistake, whatever you just did, dude. That completely shook up this board. He fucking gets him. Okay, wow. Okay, that was so tense. That was like a solid minute of just, does he kill him? 
Is he dead? Or are we not dying? Okay, so what does he do now? Does he match in and try and kill Sterling? That would make sense, I think. I don't think I'll full bore Sterling. Like, I don't think I'll try and kill him if this guy doesn't. But if Tyler tries to kill him and doesn't, then I will go for it. He doesn't, okay. Mm. I'm not going to, because it would waste a lot of my troops and Sterling doesn't have enough cards. Cool, 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 cool. Cool stuff, dudes. All right. This game is fucking wild. This is what I expected to see from the semis. Hell yeah, baby. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, I'd like sight in here, please. Okay, cool. Um, now I'll just chill. Okay, cool. We get our card. We cash out. We're fine. That was something else, eh? <laughs> yellow making their plays. All right, Yellow, what you gonna do now? Are you gonna try and kill Sterling? Do you think there's some value there? I don't think anyone should try it, but who knows? I really don't think Sterling should have done that, though. I think he's made this game exponentially harder to win for himself because now he's so weak. And once he gets enough cards to where he's worth something, like unless he gets a match on three, basically, he's probably dead because someone will kill him when he has four cards. <laughs> wow, that is rough, dude. Sterling's a very talented player, though, so I'm not going to like be like, wow, that was a bad play. What a terrible guy. No, Sterling's incredibly talented. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think that was the play at that moment. But hey, you got a lot of territory bonus. Go get him, dude. You fucking rock that. <laughs> Alright, I wonder what he's doing right now. Is he just trying to kind of shift through the ashes of his fallen kingdom? Just trying to regroup himself? <laughs> I honestly think that zero carding might be the play for him. Well, now it might not be, but it might have been from there. Because if you think about it, right, since everyone's playing to win, nobody's going to try and kill a guy who has, like, no cards. And then he might make it in a third place just by having no value. <laughs> that would be funny. Or maybe is this guy going to try to kill Tyler? Pio going for Tyler because he has five cards? Now's the time, dude, to strike while the iron's hot. But there's no way he gets it. That's the thing, right? But I'm just thinking, because he put it on one big ball, he must have some plan with that ball. So I'm kind of like, what's the plan? He's doing something. Hi there, how you doing, Pia? Howdy. Oh, okay, he's keeping me inside himself. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right, dude. I mean, yeah, it's a powerful tool, because if ever there comes a time where someone fucks up a kill on me, then he's in the driver's seat, right? But I think I'm vibing. I think I'm doing quite well for myself. I'm probably going to fortify my borders a little bit because I don't want someone to try to kill me and then fuck it up. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Because I'd rather they try to kill me, fuck it up on the border attack, then they see the 10 in the inside, stop trying, and then now I'm protected by them. Mm -hmm. So if Pio hits me, I don't die. I like the sound of that. See, when you're normally, I wouldn't be thinking on like that astral plane, like prediction on death kind of fucking shit. But tournaments do stuff to you, man. They make you really think. Do we get it? Sweet, we get the take. Fuck yeah. Still using that three for some value. Because I don't want to ruin my perfectly balanced numbers. Everything's nice and even. I don't want to use. I'll use the stinky three. We don't have a match on three, but that's fine. Just need to not get another fucking horse. <laughs> How many times have I said I just need to not get specific card and then I get that card? Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. I'm vibing right now. I'm in, like, such a good mood. Because, like, that's really nice to see him go. Seeing Orange go and Sterling be weak is quite nice. But he is getting back up on his feet with those six troops each turn. He's definitely appreciating that, I'm sure. Howdy there. <laughs> All right. Wonder what he's doing. I wonder what his little plan is. Maybe he's trying to get Tyler out of his like side. He's trying to like get rid of a guy who could kill him. So maybe I'll signal to Pio. I don't really like his 48 being there. But do I like it though? But do I? Is there anything innately bad about his 48 being there? Because it is a shield. 
It is a shield. Hmm. I don't know. Because I both can see it as it's a really good shield, but also at the same time it means that if anyone fucks up, I'm just dead. <laughs> I'm just dead. Just straight up. There's no way I live, right? I just get munched. So, you gotta be thinking, thinking with big brain stuff here on what really is worth your effort. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll be chill with him having F now. You know, I'm kind of curious if I just took over mid, like how people would react to that all. Do you think anyone would even give a shit? Or would they just like not even like recognize it? They'd just be like, okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be worth it though. Because since it's TR, even the plus 8, I'm probably going to lose more than 8 troops taking mid. If we're being for real here. Sweet, we got the cannon. Woohoo! Still kicking, baby. See, Sterling have his little, his match that he could really use right now. I still don't think I'll try and kill him, even if he doesn't have the match. Yeah, I don't think I'll try and kill him. Because sure, his cards are worth something, but like... I don't think it's worth to kill him. Because if I fuck it up, I'm basically done for. You know? I don't know, maybe it's worth it to try and kill him. Maybe it is. It would get another player off the board. But it would also expose me a lot more. And that's the thing. Is with Fog, I like to not be exposed, right? Because I don't want to have to be any more seeable or vulnerable than I already am. Well, I'm sure someone will try and kill Starling, considering how weak he is. Because everyone must know he's so weak, right? He has four cards. Let's see if someone fucks a kill up on him. If someone does, I pounce. But I don't think any... I don't know, maybe someone will. I'm trying to just think on all astral plane levels I can. Mm. No, okay. I'm not going to try and kill him. We're going to be homies. I'm good. So we'll make this a 30. I'm just really trying to make it. That if somebody tries to do that, they'll realize they, they really fucking can't. <laughs> so make that a 40 there. And a 43. Now, I will punch. Here. Now, now we're just chilling, yeah. I like that. Okay. I like that. I like that. Now, for anyone doing the math at home, aka Green, because he's the only guy who could see both of those stacks at that time, he would realize that I didn't put in all my troops there. So maybe he knows I have some pack army. Or maybe he just thinks I have a stack he can't see. Which I guess is the exact same thing. <laughs> oh boy. I'm like on edge. But I'm also like let's just fucking rumble baby. Because I'm just so happy. Making it to semis is a lot of fun dude. This is exciting. If Sterling doesn't have a match here. He is so dead. Oh no. Oh no. Sterling. <laughs> Ah oh, man, <laughs> dude, that is brutal. There's no way someone doesn't kill him, right? They have to. There's, there's just no fucking way. If, if nobody, oh my god, if Tyler doesn't kill Sterling, dude, he's so dead. Sterling is so fucked. There's just no way, though, right? There is no fucking way he doesn't kill Sterling. Come on, come on, come on. Please fuck up this kill. Please try and kill Sterling and fuck it up, dude. I am begging you. That would make my life so easy. Otherwise, I have to kill Sterling. There's just no, like, way around it. I must go for it, right? Howdy, how you doing? Come on. Come on, Tyler. Oh, my God. All right, let's try it, boys. Let's fucking try it. All right. 49 here. Let's try to get Sterling. Oh, is Sterling locked in there? Oh, that's smart. No, we can't kill Sterling then. Tyler's going to wait for someone else to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. After further consideration, I've decided not to waste my troops on that endeavor. Maybe he doesn't know where all of Sterling is, so he's like, well, if I can't fucking kill him, no one can. <laughs> that, might be the, that might be what his thoughts are. Or maybe he's just, I don't know. Sterling gets a match, though, so it doesn't really make sense if he's containing him. I have no clue. 
Oh, but Kite doesn't realize it, so Kite feeds Sterling. That is unfortunate. Kite is feed. Oh, wait, no, but he will match. Sterling will match, so he's still in this game. Yeah, Kite, there's no way. There's no way. Sorry. All right. Do we have a match on three? We fucking do. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> this has been a fun game. This is a fun crowd. I'm loving this. I'm sorry if I'm very loud. Um, but hitting the semis now is extremely exciting. And being on my meds, I'm a lot more energy. Uh, like, I have a lot more energy to give out and use, right? So, I'm just like... Let's fucking go, boys. <laughs> Let's get it, dog. Is he trying to kill someone? Oh. Oh. He's just expanding. So his goal is more... Take over... A lot of the board. So that he continuously gets territory bonuses. So that he can slowly pull himself ahead. That's not a bad strategy. The only problem I have of it is that he's wearing himself real fucking thin. Is he trying to kill me here? That doesn't make sense. He wants to center continent. Interesting. See, but he took out my two and that hurts my feelings. I'm very, very protective of my twos. That makes me very sad that you took it out, friend. Mm -hmm. No, more YouTube notes, okay. Um. Yeah. Also, I'm not dedicating any more troops to that 10-stack over there. Because it's utterly fucking pointless to do that, right? Because putting troops in that 10-stack doesn't benefit me at all. Like, there's nothing to gain from having them there, right? Um, we'll make this actually an 80. And put the rest over. We'll make this a 35. We're just trying to really make that a no matter what you do, you won't be getting this kind of thing. Okay. Okay, cool. So we know where yellow stack is. We know where the peoples are. That's cool. I actually like this position. There's a lot of interesting access points. I kind of like that, so. All right, match on three. What do you do? If you think you can kill me, you're wrong. <laughs> but I don't think she thinks she can kill me, so that's cool. Who's she trying to kill? Does she try and kill anyone? Does she just chill? Did she do her thing? What's going on here? I don't know. I'm excited. This is fun. Nothing. Okay. Sterling, I whatever expansion tricks you were working on, they did not seem to work out. <laughs> just straight up, they don't seem to have worked. Maybe I try and eat Sterling on my turn? There's an idea. There's an idea. Okay. But that relies on nobody else doing it, right? Hi, Sterling. There's a 35 behind there. I'm going to recommend trying it. Yeah, hi, bud. How you doing? Nice weather we're having, huh? Okay. Sterling's nice. Um, okay. Do we try for a kill on Sterling? We could. We certainly could. I think the fact he's been allowed to live as long as he has is kind of fucking hilarious. Because I don't think he's had any right to live after the start there. Not like as in he doesn't deserve it, but just as in after that start, I think in any other like um, order of events, he would be dead by now. I think it's the TR that's spooking everyone. The TR and the fog. Because it means that, well, what if I get a bad roll? Or what if they have that one little, like, two I can't see, right? And that's the fucking thing that gets you. That's what gets you. Is if there's something in the fog you can't see. So you know what? I think we'll do a little bit of punchy punchies around. And we'll just kind of figure out if we can find... If Sterling, a kill on him would be worth it. We're not going to full lean into it. But just if we think it's worth trying for. I don't know. We'll see what happens, right? Okay. Okay. Do 
you think it's worth trying for? I think so. I think so, big man. What? Oh, no. Wow. We didn't get him. That sure sucks, donkey balls. Huh. Was he behind that one there and I should have attacked that? Probably. Probably. And now he matches in, huh? And stays alive. That sucks. Like, wow, that really sucks. That stings, dude. Maybe she knows where Sterling is and she tries and kills him. She gets him. Okay, so he actually has a significant stack, so I probably wouldn't have got it anyway. So that's fine, then. I wonder if she's going to try and kill me. I don't think that can happen, though. I don't think she has enough troops for that. I'm glad I didn't punch that 19, because I was debating doing it with a 64, but I'm glad I didn't in hindsight. I only have two cards. It's not worth it trying to kill me. Okay, well, you're just throwing the game now. That made no sense at all. That was just plain stupid. Yeah, I hope you realize I have so much fucking territories, there's just no way you kill me, right? You just... Yeah. That made no sense at all. Did I just throw away my tournament game? That would sure suck if I did. That would sure suck if I did. I might have. I mean, actually, I guess I'm protected by her, though, right? So nobody... Like, I don't know. It depends if people think she blew through my continent or not. Like, killed it all. Because depending on what people think will depend on how they act, right? Or that will change how they act. So, we'll have to see. Also, Green, I appreciate you giving me that easy take. That's quite kind of you. What really sucks is people know I don't have the content anymore, so I'm afraid they, like, try and kill me and then fuck it up. Okay, so Purple's trying to kill me, but they're gonna fuck it up, because they can't, right? Because I have a 64 over there, so I don't really know what you're thinking. Yeah, no. Okay, cool. Five troops, okay. So I still actually have a significant amount of territories, that's kinda cool, I guess. Um... Yeah, I think we just add to that for right now, and we go, boom, get our easy take. Now we'll rotate that into the mid there. Try and keep it a little more useful for me. If you're leaning into trying to kill me, you can't do it, Kite. You can't kill me. That's frustrating. That's if they think they can. There's just no way. Yeah, there's just literally no way. There's just literally no way. <laughs> Through the match on three, we fucking do, baby! Let's go! <laughs> we have the fucking match on three! Oh, and he's gonna fail it now. Because, yeah. Because that you can't kill me, dude. You can try, but you cannot kill me. You can't. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hit him with the oops. You can't do it, dude. You cannot kill me. You don't have the resources, unfortunately. Yep. Does Sir Tyler kill me? Or do I? Do I die to Sir Tyler now? If he knows where I am, I die to him. But I may not, just because of the fact that I only... I don't know if I pose any value. If I match in and I keep zero carding, I may pose like no value. Fuck yeah, I don't pose any value. Fuck yeah, I don't pose any value. Okay, thank god. I could have been so fucking dead and they would have secured themselves into the uh, finals here or whatever, right? Oh, dude, that 35 coming in fucking clutch later on this game, right? Coming in fucking clutch, dude. Coming in fucking clutch. But I don't think it matters. I may just be dead. 
Please don't kill me, dude. Oh, uh, they're going to kill me because they want to get into the semis, right? They're just going to kill me simply for the sake of winning this game. But I'm just going to keep zero carding them. <sighs> that sucks. I guess that's kind of the unfortunate mindset, though, is right? They'll kill me even if it throws their game because it gets them into semis, which I would have done the same thing. And that does kind of suck about the tournaments, is that there is that mindset there that, um, you know. That's also why I don't really like Fog so much. Because, I mean, Fog's not bad. I like it on Zombies. But it causes a lot of times where you get failed kills. Which are funny as fuck when it's happening to someone else. Like earlier, that was hilarious. But when it happens to you, it's like, well, now my tournament's fucked. Because I think the correct move for Sir Tyler would be just hit me. Just kill me, dude. Because even if I post no value to you whatsoever and you lose a bunch of troops for it, you're guaranteed to the finals. Why would you not take that? This match does not matter past the finals. The best thing I can pray for is that true randoms on my side. But I don't think I'll get that. I think he kills me here. I think he kills me here. I'd do it. <gasps> Let's fucking go, dude! <laughs> man let's fucking go we're in the finals baby oh my god what what fucking what we're in the finals dude let's fucking go oh my god what a way to end that game kite went for a failed kill on Pio and gets me in the finals baby Oh my god, that is such a way to end this fucking match, dude. That is so fantastic. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind right now. I thought, I was so like, I was so like resigned to my match is over. I gave this tournament my best run. I'm done for, dude. I'm fish food. And then that happens. Wow. Oh my god, I got into the top three. It doesn't even matter now because P.O. died first. Let's fucking go, dude actually losing my mind over that what a fantastic fucking game dude what a fantastic game oh my god <laughs> my heart is racing bro my heart is racing i am so like wow <laughs> And you know what, my fucking 2v2 partner and buddy Pete, he would always say, better lucky than good. And that applies right fucking there, dude. That has never been truer. That is so true. Better lucky than good. <laughs> it does not matter how much talent you have. It does not matter how outplayed you get if you are a lucky motherfucker. <laughs> what a joke, dude. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy, dude. I'm actually, like, so fucking hyped. Wow. <clears throat> in all honesty, I don't know if I fully deserved to be in the finals after that. But at the same time, I'm not going to complain. Because in the finals, I'll earn my fucking number one badge, brother. brother. That is fucking insane, okay? I am losing my mind right now. That is so legendary. That is so legendary. Oh, and she has the match on three. Does she manage to kill him? I, this might be a close one, because he may have a match on four, and it, I don't know if she has the time or the speed to kill all of his stuff. Plus, two random munches on her army pretty fucking hard. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Too bad he didn't use the little hide a stack back there thing, and he would have guaranteed the survival. But I think he might live anyway. I don't think she has the speed to kill him. This is a pretty big map. And the blizzards change the padding in, like, a weird way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think she can kill him. Maybe she can. It'll be fucking close, dude. Either way, I don't give a shit about who wins this game. I got into the finals. I didn't come in here with the plan to win. I came in here with the plan for top three, and I got it. It didn't go how I planned for it to, but I got where I wanted to. And that's all that matters. She's gonna run out of time. She can't kill all of him. He's probably going to have a match and this game's going to continue.
if he doesn't have a maybe he doesn't match because he's just like I want the game to end or he doesn't have one I have no clue which it is no okay he clearly wanted to try and fight but that's game good game well played better lucky than good <laughs> dude that is such a good way to end that fucking game Considering I only practiced, like, a day before, well, two days before, but, like, I only played, like, one game, like, two days ago of this, and I played a bunch yesterday. Getting top three is fucking legendary. Good games to everybody in that tournament. Good shit. That was fun as fuck. And I will see you bastards in the finals, because that was amazing. Thank you all so much for that game. That was so much fun. Thank you. <laughs> dude oh my god i'm losing my mind all right this is gonna be me signing off for this one here um this was a fun and fuck game thank you all for uh you know supporting me getting into the finals i'm so excited did i get there by skill i would say up until this point yeah but this game i won by pure fucking luck but for you know what the round that had true random dice is the setting i think that is perfectly fitting Congratulations to Kite for winning this round six game, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.